Hello. Good afternoon. How are you? That was a rhetorical question. Anyway, welcome to this episode we're going to call Pocket Protector. That's right. Pocket Protector. Hey, RT in the 44s, try to keep it down a little bit here. I'm filming something. So, pocket protectors. What do pocket protectors have to do with cigar box guitars? Well, everything. Have you ever built a cigar box guitar and then when you put the neck in, you found out that there was a gap here where this pocket goes? Oh, I see. I'm the only one that's ever happened to, right? Of course. So, the very first time this ever happens to anyone except me, I'm going to make sure you're prepared. So let's go to the bench and I'm going to tell you how to recover from this problem pocket. Let's go. Alright guys, let's start off with what you'll need. You'll need something to measure. One of these always comes in pretty handy where you can just push down on uh, whatever you're trying to measure and hit the bottom or something like that. That comes out pretty handy. Need some kind of straight edge piece of wood like this. Um, you can use a straight edge for this, but you're going to need a piece of wood about this big. You're going to need something to mark everything with. And then you're going to need a piece of metal like this. Piece of metal I got off this mystery fence location full of mojo down in deep dark LA somewhere. Or even a thin piece of old cigar box like so. So I like the way this is set up here. It's a good camera angle. I'm going to be working on top of this. So we're going to need a piece of paper to cover this. I'm also going to need a piece of paper, uh, 5x5, five five, 4x5, five, something like that. Now the first thing I'm going to do is take this slide ruler and I'm going to measure which I've already done, the distance between the top of the box right here, remember the lid is going to sit down here like so, and the bottom of the box. Now, I'm going to take this piece of paper here from a straight edge, and I am going to mark off on the paper two lines where that distance is like so. Okay? Now, I've made this real easy for myself. I've cheated a little bit and got ahead of myself. You might want to do the same thing. But, I've taken a piece of wood that is, see that? It is 10 millimeters <laughs> or about 3 eighths of an inch on each side larger than this neck template. This is just a piece of neck. Again, I'll give you a link to the episode right up there right about now. But, I've taken this template. I know where the middle is. I marked it on this piece of wood. Let me turn this around. And I made a mark where the center is right there and where the edge is. There we go. Here, here, and here. Then I've taken and turned it around and did the same thing down here, 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 and here. Follow me? Then I just flipped it around. I had a mark there, 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 and there. And just connected the marks as well as the two center marks. And I took a small straight edge or square and went around and put those marks on all sides of the little block. Now, back to this piece of paper. Maybe I should move this one for a minute. That way we can see better. I'm taking and drawing a line right here. And this is the distance between the bottom of the box and the top of the box. You see that? Now, anywhere along here, doesn't matter where, I'm going to take and line this up there. I'm going to make a mark there, there, 
there. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it on the back side too. This is why I've got those lines all the way around, like so. So I've got this series of lines and if I line those up and those up like so, each one of those I just draw through like so. You with me? All right, the next thing I'm going to do is take this and figure out what's the distance between the bottom of my neck board here and the bottom of the box. And I'm just going to slide that up and it's that much. There we go. Okay, remember this piece of paper with the three lines on it? It matches the, the depth of the box. And cover this up so I don't accidentally draw on it. But those three lines there, we're going to put this back on there and line those lines up there. There we go. I'm going to make a line right here and right here. So what that does is this is the pocket for the neck. We know where the center is and this is 10 millimeters outside of there. And I'm going to do the same thing down here on the back side where you can't see. I'm just lining up those marks and making a mark here and then here. And I take anything that's a straight edge might as well use this. I'm going to lay that there and there run down like so. And like so. Now We'll use this for the bottom because it's straight. And this is represents again the measurement from the bottom of the box to the bottom of the neck. See that? So I'm going to take from the piece of paper here inside of this area, I'm going to lay this down and make me a mark here and there so again I'm going to take a straight edge now I'm going to line up that line those two lines right there okay and then this area right here then represents what I need to cut out all right there's that pocket and bingo it fits tight right there so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut straight along this edge that gives me a 10 millimeter surround like so and I end up with this now if you're using the same box every time and everything's exactly the same then you can take this like so can you see that and lay it out on a piece of wood like this and take a marker and just go along and trace this out and then cut it on your scroll saw. If not, this is a pretty easy thing to do with this and this. Now I've taken this piece of paper and put it on the piece of metal. Again, you could do it with anything like this but I've transferred it onto there. Now I love these snips. They're Malco M12s. These things are really old but they cut metal like butter. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these out or this out here and it will match exactly what I need. I'm just going to cut this out here. Now the nice thing about using metal instead of wood is I can cut right down to that corner and I can bend these up like so and then I can take my snips and make a nice clean straight cut right there. Pop those back in place. Tap them. 
with my hammer here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Just flatten that back out like so. Get everything straight again. Okay, now I'm going to show you another little trick. I'm going to have to mount this. So I'm going to take this marker and, uh, and put some dots on here. Uh, but I'm going to need to know where it is down here on the center on the bottom of the box. Now, typically if you're trying to cover up a mistake, you're not going to have anything here so you wouldn't put anything there. But you just line this up like this. This thing comes in really handy. And I'm just going to put a dot there. And then I can put a dot there and one over here about the same way. See that? Little dots there. And then I'm going to come up here. I'm going to put one there. I'm going to put one there. Now I'm going to take my awl and I am going to put it on each one of those dots like so and just tap it because this is going to give me a place to mount my screws through this cover into the box. If you don't have this drilling gets a little bit difficult so use the same uh, screws that you would use to put your tuners on or something like that with those little holes it's really easy to drill through like so and I'm going to get the rest of them here all right there we go now the last thing I want to do is you don't want these jagged edges like this sticking out anywhere so I'm going to take this to the belt sander and round these off and then where it drilled through I'm going to make sure I flatten those out so let me get that done we'll have a final look Alright, that turned out pretty nice, rustic looking. And what do you know, it fits exactly what I need on the box. Can you see that? Now, all I got to do is take this simple paper pattern that I did, make another one for the front, and I'm good to go. Um, again, if your boxes are all pretty much the same size and you want to uh, use the same box all the time, uh, take a minute here and cut this out so it's ready to go um, on every build you do again it's just old piece of neck wood that's the width of or the length of the width of a neck plus 10 millimeters or so and that gives you everything you need to end up with the pocket and an outside edge like that that's pretty simple so isn't that incredible how the pocket protector ties in with the planets lining up in this pocket protector? Isn't that brilliant? Oh, speaking of brilliance, inspired by the movie A Beautiful Mind, I borrowed this neck template that you were taught how to build if you paid attention in the episode called neck template isn't that profound there's a link up there where the eye is right now but i took this this hole that was allegedly for a nail and i took a fragment of a map of north mississippi and i guided it or something guided it i'm not sure what but i got a message a message from johnny cash and he said listen up that you should be buying, no, you all should be buying this music from RT and the 44s called Radio EP, Radio EP. I will give you a link below. All right, wow, the stuff I don't do for you guys really, um, I swear this thing's gonna kill me. I can't get it off. Help, help. Did I ever wear a bow tie ever in my life? No, hell no. Listen, um, 
I heard from my friend, there we go, I'm feeling better now. I heard from my friend at Earl Lube Industries Pace, Bubba, I appreciate your email. He sent me a couple pictures. He built cigar box guitars and he actually has been watching my channel. Does that surprise you? Doesn't surprise me at all. Anyway, ain't these some awesome glasses? Look, for the pain I went through to dress up and get this bow tie and all this kind of stuff, um, you're going to give me a like, right? I hope so. I'll see you next time.